गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस चैप्टर वी हैव लर्न दैट ऑन द ईव ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस इंडियन इकोनॉमी वॉज कम्प्लीटली अंडर डेवलप्ड आफ्टर वन नाइंटी ईयर्स ऑफ ब्रिटिश रूल एंड देयर एक्सप्लोटिव पॉलिसी इंडिया फाइनली गॉट इंडिपेंडेंस ऑन फिफ्टीन ऑगस्ट नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन इन दिस The name of this chapter is Indian Economy from 1950 to 1990. We will uh, study. You will study about what kind of policies government adopted to develop this country. Now it was necessary to reconstruct the backward and stagnant econ stagnant Indian economy. Mister. into a developed economy therefore the most important task before the government of independent india was to decide the type of economic system which would be most suitable for india now question is what is economic system economic system refers to an arrangement by which central problem of an economy are solved now again what are the central problem of an economy as you know every economy have a different kind of problems the main three main problems are that every economy face that is what to produce how to produce and for whom to produce three problems which uh, i will uh, discuss now that is first one is what to produce it involves selection of goods and services and the quantity of each that the economy should produce every countries have different kind of uh, different uh, kind of necessity and requirement according to necessity and requirement uh, country produce goods and services second problem is how to produce how to produce here how to produce means deciding the technique of production whether labor intensive or capital intensive here labor intensive means more labor less capital and capital intensive means more capital less labor it depends upon the nature of the economy or country which technique will be suitable for example india has large population so there is a to solve the problem of unemployment labor intensive will be suitable or uh, uh, in other side the developed country like european countries and uh, united state of america or canada where population are uh, sparse in those country and there are huge amount of capital in those country then capital intensive will be required next one is for whom to produce it involves deciding the distribution of output among people that means it involves selection of the category of the people who will ultimately consume the goods for example like uh, where there are three kind of uh, countries in the world first one in developed country under developed country and developing country as you know india is a developing country and the requirement of goods and services varies uh, among the countries developed country needs needs more luxurious good developing country needs uh, basic goods and under developed country has different kind of requirement so it is it is uh, to decide for whom to produce for uh, india um, for a developing country like india it is necessary to decide which goods and services are required in our country now types of economic system there are three types of economic system i will discuss first about capitalist economy what is the nature of capitalist economy a capitalist economy is the one in which means of production are own control and operated by the private sector here the main motive of production are to earning profit the central problem are solved through the market forces of demand and supply 
for example there are three central problem that i have already discussed what to produce whom to produce and how to produce in capitalist economy what to produce uh, under the system of capitalist economy only those goods are produced that can be sold profitably because the motive of capitalist economy is to earn more and more profit how to produce means goods are produced using cheaper technique of production in case of in uh, in case of cheap labor labor intensive method of production are used in case of costly labor capital intensive technique of production are used now next is for whom to produce in a capitalist society goods produced are distributed among people not on the basis of their needs but on the basis of their income or purchasing power this means that a sick person will be able to get medicine only when he can afford to buy it otherwise not even it, it if there is urgency now next is socialist economy and one more is that is mixed economy what is the, the nature of socialist economy and uh, mixed economy that i will discuss in the next class